Hi traders, a short recap of my trading session today. The S&P starts with a gap up of 0.7%. These are five minute candles and I'm going to fast forward it so I could explain the point in an S&P that is starting with a gap up. Therefore, you would expect it to move down just like it does now in the direction of closing the gap. There will be some profit taking and then normally when the S&P starts with a big gap up, it's likely to move over the highs. I'm expecting a gap and go. And in order to fully understand that, you need to take a look at yesterday's video. Do it later after this video. So we just moved down, almost closed the gap, and now we're moving up, touching over the highs, and this was expected. That's why I was looking for stocks which are outperforming the market, like the like Baba. Now you can see that Baba is up over four percent right now, and I'm going long, buying four thousand shares right now because Baba is outperforming the market, and it came down, although it started up because the market came down, and then you expect the market to. Move Move up and then you're looking for stocks which are outperforming like Baba and look at this beautiful spike up I'm up more than four grand right now it's spiking up more than five thousand dollars and I'm taking my partial leaving just 400 shares that was a quick trade in Baba now I was looking for the same idea in other stocks which are outperforming the market now Apple is up 0.8 percent so it makes sense to go long and I'm going long 4,000 shares right here in Apple expecting it to move up with the market after the market came down closed the gap and then would reverse to go over the highs. Same thing for Microsoft. The stock is up 0.6%. It's reversing with the market. The market will dictate the direction of the stock that you're trading. Now I'm going long right here. Microsoft, 4,000 shares and expecting the same thing, expecting it to move with the market. NVEX is looking great because this stock is up 1.5%. It's likely to continue. It had a huge upside day yesterday. I just bought 4,000 shares. Microsoft just reached my target over $4,000 taking my partial. NVEX, look at this five minute candles over $4,000 taking my partial here and leaving just 400 shares. And um, look at the rest. Apple just touching my target now. I'm up three grand and I'm selling, leaving 400 shares in Apple. I added some size in uh, Microsoft. So as you can see here, I've got another 1400 shares in Microsoft, added 1000. So up two grand and selling here uh, 1300, leaving just 100 shares. It's the end of my trading session today. And here, are the res here is the result. Take a look at the number here. I'm up $17,000. Also had a losing trade in coin and a winning trade in coin well one loser one winner but the end result in coin is in red now if you have seen my video from yesterday you would have seen that I was down at the end of the trading session yesterday six thousand dollars and the reason for this and this is the educational part about this video really is Yesterday, I trusted the market to move lower. Why? Because the market started with a big gap down. And I was expecting the S&P to move higher in a bit. You know, there will be some bottom fishing, but then it's likely to fail and come down under the low. So I went short two stocks yesterday and not full size because I did not get the reversal yet. I couldn't trust the market to move lower. So it was half size, 2000 shares, two stocks. The market did not move down. It moved higher as happens 30 to 40 percent of the time. That's all. Most of the time it will move with the mark. It will move down. It will gap and go. It did not yesterday and it does happen. So I had a relatively two small losing trades. Now what happened today? The same idea. Just that the market today did what is expected to happen. 60 to 70% of the time, the market will start with a gap up and then move higher. Yesterday, the wrong way. Today, the right thing. But most of the time will be the same, which means you could expect the market to gap and go with a big gap. So today, I, I, I went long, several stocks. Well, the first one coin I took when the market came down and then I bought it again. So I had five green trades today. Uh, Coin is one of them and then uh, Baba and Apple and Microsoft and NVX, although the first trade in Coin was a losing trade. But I went with the market direction, with the expected market direction and the market did behave as it should. So it, to understand what I'm trying to say here is, you know, the market normally goes in the expected direction. Gap and go when we have a big gap up. Yesterday I lost money. Sh should I sh change my ways? Should I reconsider what I'm doing? No, I'm being asked 
over and over again. I mean, you had a losing day. Should you change something? No, I've been trading for 22 years. The market does not change. I should just keep doing the same things. Yesterday, I did not take a third trade and I moved in with two, I had two losing trades, small size. Today, I saw the market going my way. It was expected to do, uh, to go the right way. And therefore I took five long trades and kept adding. So the end result is a huge green day, while yesterday was a relatively small red day. So if you just keep doing what is expected to be done, you will end up green. It's not a game of, you know, just one or two days or a week. It's over months and over years. You just need to keep doing what you're supposed to be doing, expecting the technical moves of the market. And sometimes it's just the doesn't happen like yesterday. Well, it's a part of the game. Thank you very much for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed. Please give me a like if you like this video and you can subscribe to this channel right over here and hit on the notification bell if you want to be notified of my future uploads. And there's a lot of links right here below like the same platform I'm trading, Colmex, Colmex Pro. Start with a demo because trading is extremely hard and most traders lose money. Don't risk your hard earned money. Just start with a demo until you feel good enough to move to uh, real money and uh, take a risk. So thank you again for watching this video and I'll see you in the next video.